Try not to laugh to this Cracker Milk podcast. Hello, everyone, and welcome, welcome back to another episode of, of the Cracker Milk, Milk podcast. podcast. Do you reckon, like, at any point, um, the audience will be as upset as I get of Elias doing that incessantly for five years? No, oh, it's I become a ritual. A, I thought that yeah. was a choice. Nope, it's a constant in my life that he talks at the same time as I do and then says... Um, actually, it's the opposite. And then he says nothing for the rest of the podcast. You're the one that always talks over me and mimics what I say. Love is quarrel. Mm. Uh, look, guys. You, guys, <laughs> you just sort that out. We've got the a, sexual tension is palpable. We are joined by Tamara Machuf. We've got Goob, Elias know. DeWedger, and Connor McDuff, your host. And today we What the we fuck are, you fucking mind shit for? Huh? Why are you stuffing up my name? I never say your last name. Yeah, what? Your mind. I like it. 100%, bro. 100%. Yeah. Now... Keep Look, we're we're a little oh. we're a little grumpy. We're actually doing this, and and you're going to be seeing this the day after it's recorded because we fucking lost uh, uh. two of the funniest ones we've done so far. Yeah. Unfortunately, these mics don't work very well. So before we go any further, I would like to discuss two things. If you want to see the full uncensored, uncut version, which typically runs for about an hour to an hour twenty, you can hop over to our Patreon. It's as simple and as little as a d- Two dollars, and you get to see all the uncut stuff as well as this podcast. The other thing is, we have no sponsors. And Road, if you would like to sponsor us, Please. we're telling you right now, man, we'll suck the we'll suck the cock of the microphone. Imagine not Jesus. having a cock microphone, okay. and having ones that work that we can swing out and like actually talk to. <gasps> yeah, Britney Spears headset. That's all I want. What I think, what I've noticed oh. is like Elias always wants the That's mic cool. arms cool. that the road ones come in, and I've noticed why he puts a flashlight on them. So when he's sitting down on the hands computer, free. oh, you can just jank it, dude. Sorry, it can be hands free anyway. What? 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 You just put it on and then. I don't think it, it need works to be like weighted. That. Yeah, it need to be weighted yeah. like a like a shake weight. I um <laughs> I get the home. I hollow those out. I bought a bunch of yeah. I get the home out. brand yeah, no, flashlight. An um, apple? Off brand, yeah, home brand. An apple? Yeah, you just hollow an apple out. Well, today we're here and look, we're we're, we're feeling a little. We, we we've been brainstorming brainstorming all day, and what's come up is that you know. All of us have started talking about our feelings, and one thing we feel is that we've got some fears, right? We're all a little mm. scared of some stuff, mm. um, and some more than others. Yeah, and I'm and tough. so this episode <laughs> of the Crack Milk Podcast is is going to all be about our fears and phobias and how and how to get through them. Okay, so <sighs> it's going to be a you scared, buddy? Yeah, I'm just thinking about my fears. I'll tell you one of <laughs> I'll tell you one of my main fears. It's that Elias mm. is going to say a really racist thing. Um, in public. Oh, I get that. That's oh. a fear I have. I have the fear that you will do that. I'm one fifth Aboriginal. I can't be racist. Yeah, and everyone knows that. No, nope, mm-hmm. Just can't. because you're one fifth Aboriginal doesn't mean you can't be racist. Actually, yes, it does. Because I've been oppressed by people like you, whites. Connor's my phobia. Mm, he's well, my phobia as well. Yeah, actually. Mm. I think it's his hair. It's like the texture. God. Like if you were to touch oh. it. Oh. Yeah, people always think it's, it's oh. like. Oh, you got oh. him. You got him going. Is it Gaggy. makes you sick? Gaggy. Yeah. yeah. It's like the, the whole phobia. The whole phobia, yeah. I was going to say. What would I, like, if, I, if oh. I was Lego, what oh. would my hair be? Broccoli. Noodle. If I was Lego? Yeah. Um, broccoli? Yeah. Yeah, all the all the kids oh, now have my... Oh, Yeah, they all the just kids chuck now a piece perm, of broccoli. Perm their hair up. You've seen all the kids doing what I but do naturally? Like yeah, they not do like that. They do a wave. Yeah, they they yeah. don't do a tight-ass ringlet. <laughs> I can't control my ringlets. I just want them to relax. Like, oh my god, that's why he's so wound tight mm. all the time. His so hair. Your hair's in a bun. I'm not wound tight. You're t- like a from dancer. The hair down. I'm not wound tight. I'm if, a chill guy. If you straightened your hair, would you oh, have dude, saggy actually, skin? Don't well, fucking touch me! You are wound tight. I'm trying to unwind if, you, dude. Don't touch me. You always touch me. I'm trying hair. to unwind you. What was that? Touching Sorry. You. Also, you interrupted. Someone yeah, you're speaking, interrupting. Which I'm going to call out. If you see that, you call us out in the comments because we do it all the time. for it? I'm sorry. Did I finish talking about people interrupting? I had hoped so. I just want to unwind you. Stop fucking touching I me. I didn't touch it's you. It's an audio pl- uh, Yeah, medium. but look how wound up you are right now. Yeah, I need you're, to wind you down. You're not, my fear is that you're going to touch me and you're going to use that R strength to like crush me. Yeah, It's an R word we can't we say. Can't, well, that's, I, good, that's, he's got the... <laughs> that's not a disability. That's just an aesthetic I go for. <laughs> I got surgery to bring them closer together so I can... <laughs> is so that why you're not wearing the glasses anymore? They don't fit? No, it's because my dog chewed the arms of one of them, or I think it's your dog, actually. But oh, He wanted okay. to be more of a predator. 
So we want to <laughs> put them closer together. Hey, predators, predators don't ha- predators. Prey have them. Yeah. Yeah. So look for predators. Oh right, Further yeah. Out, I want it to be better at um sprinting and hunting. De- <laughs> what the fuck? Sorry, predator. Are Different you 2024? Sort of he's focused on his goals. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes push in. Short focus. vision means something. Else. My fear is these jokes aren't jokes. They're passive aggressive digs at my face. Um, it's okay. Can't that's why it. your favorite X Men Cyclops because he's got one my eye. My favorite X Men. <laughs> my favorite X Men is Wolverine. When to Cy- become one. <laughs> that's your eyes. Cyclops has two eyes. No. Uh, he wears Check a visor. Again. Yeah, he wears a visor. How do you know, know he's got two eyes? Because I've seen X Men. Uh, I'll go for like a, a more reasonable fear or phobia. Mm-hmm. Now, reasonable. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'd say probably flying is is one in of in an aeroplane or just off a cliff. Or well, that would be falling. Or like a it? bird. Well, no. Yes, I have a fl- fear of gaining wings and flying like a bird. That's all you needed to say. I did just say that. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, but no, flying in a plane, particularly with all the Boeing drama right now, I actually refuse to go see my sister in Melbourne right now because I'm so scared of flying. Oh, uh, what's the difference another couple of days are going to make? Sorry? Well, I mean, like the Boeing aircraft, they're all like 20 years ago expired. So you may as well like yeah. just well, a I mean, few extra suddenly days. the doors are ripping off and like... It's not suddenly. Hmm. They've been doing it for ages. They, they fall apart all the time and no. then they just rebuild them. And Tomorrow then, like, they... re-taped them yeah, back I in the day. Yeah, we used to tape them back I, up with duct tape. I actually don't believe doors have been ripping off these planes forever because now they are like discontinuing the plane completely. Have you not seen it, Lost? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, famous documentary Lost? Yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna you say, know the smoke monster in Lost is actually just a dude on the island ripping abs. mad bongs and just like the the smoke's oh. coming out and everyone's getting so high from it they're hallucinating and thinking they're dying. That, is, oh. is that the twist? Yeah. And all the viewers think it was a good show because they're also getting high. No, they're what we call R words. Which one? Don't worry about it. What were you Red saying? Oh, oh, what I was going to say oh, is it's is. probably uh, like oh. this, the safest time to fly now because there's probably going to be so many inspections and safety inspections and stuff that's so like, like every time there's a disaster exactly. at a theme park it's, it's like the best time to go that's, that's not true that yeah Woo! free watches they literally went after the river rapids a tragedy where that family died on the safest ride in dream world they went in and inspected all the rides and they found that none of those rides were up to standard yeah so, so they, yeah, made, so them they, so they standard. made them up to standard so and that's why they, i don't think they the did like Waiting to go. Well, I heard that about terrorist attacks because I visited yeah. the World Trade Center after um, 9-11 mm. and I was not disappointed. Yeah, way less stairs. I yeah, visit, you didn't I have visited to walk. them <laughs> just before they fell. It's actually down. Sorry? I visited them just before they fell. How close before? Like they f- seconds. <laughs> you jumped out. <laughs> Placed a block I flew of water. In. I'm shocked that the that airlines don't just <laughs> pretend to put a parachute under your seat. If I if they said, oh by the way, there's a parachute under your seat, just pretend why, it works. Why not just one per aisle? So it's ah, a bit of a no... tussle. Yes, it's a game. The strongest survive. Exactly. Put the air mask, oxygen mask on you before your kids, because kids are shit. Yeah. And Do we don't need it? more of them. Yeah, kids well, suck. I think it's because kids breathe like a lot. Like they, well, even when they're drinking water, yeah, they're, they're like heavy breathers. <sighs> Okay, that's going on the Patreon. <laughs> oh, that's definitely that's going on the do. YouTube that's what kids one. Do. I got a sense of that. That Why? was fucked. That's a fetish. Yeah, yeah that's a fetish. really a fetish? Yeah, you've awakened something. <laughs> oh, Wait, for you guys? No. Oh, no. oh for creeps. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. My fear is also that I'm going to hit 29 and never, ever take off my hat. I started wearing I'm a hat when I was I'm scared for you 29. as well for that. That's what I'm saying, yeah. And you're never I already into- hit 29. Yeah. Yeah, it's 30. And so now you won't take off your hat ever. I took off my hat last podcast. Take it off right now. Take it off right now. What's wrong? Why? Take what it you, off. I Just take it off. It. Relax. What's wrong? It might blow out one of the cameras. Yeah, we're lenses. worried that the, the bald spot in his head will like bounce the light and yeah. overexpose the cameras. Always oh, taking it. Ah! Ah! Be careful. Fine. Be careful doing now. that, dude. You look fine, man. You're all good. He's, he's oh. Fix that up for you, down. He looks sure. like he's can you look down, a like straight down? I'm into it. He looks. He just looks like he doesn't know how to groom. <laughs> Bro, you just gotta fucking get a haircut, I man. I just want to wash it. No. Look at you. Oh it, my gosh. So I was talking to Elias. Smelling. I was talking to Elias earlier, and he'd never been to a hairdresser and had the um the shampoo oh, really? conditioning moment where they give you the head massage. Orgasm. I call it orgasm. It moment. is so and then good. I get kicked out. I've never had that before. That's because you keep that is coming. That's insane when to me. Well, there Your you birthday. I'm shouting you a haircut. Thanks, tomorrow. You're welcome. My 30th. Your 30th. For your 30th. Yeah. For your birthday, I'm throwing rocks at you. Okay. 
Um, I'm gonna get you a knit collar. Are you 30 this year, Elias? Yeah. Yeah. What a dumb pick. Couple months. What like like honestly? If how old are you? I'm young. I'm just I'm nubile. You're the oldest in the room. I'm just so yeah, but I'm the most fertile. Well, I don't know. I feel like if I came on a toilet seat, it probably get someone pregnant. Mm-hmm. Um, look, anyway, back on topic. My fear yeah, yeah. is flying. I, I'm I'm horrified of flying. I still do it. I'll still travel by plane. I'm not I'm not a puss. So you're a liar. Yeah, you just said you weren't going to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a flyer. Um, I, but also like if I can avoid it, I will. And if I have a flight coming up, I literally will remind myself that I have to do the flight, and it feels like I can't plan my life after. The flight, I like. I have to. I like almost put my life on hold. I can't think about anything after the flight. All Just I think pretend about, that you're not flying. Doesn't work. And the the worst part is when I go on holiday, I love it. But then when it gets close to the end of the holiday, all I think about is having to get back on the plane. Really? Have, Isn't yeah. it really that bad? <clears throat> yeah. Have you thought? Have, have you thought about closing your eyes? The whole time? Yeah. Yeah. Well, normally I just get drunk. Like I I get pissed and then get on the flight. That doesn't make it worse. No. No. You're like woo. But then. You got to pee. And one time I had to pee during like when, when you're, no, what the fuck? Uh, no, you get when, to piss wherever you want during, during turbulence. turbulence. You just piss. That's cool. No, during <laughs> yes. um, when you're boarding. And I've read, I, I got told by my ex, if you, like they can absolutely just let you pee when you're boarding. And some flight attendants just won't let you. They just go, nah. And that happened to me. I was like, excuse me, but my feet use the bathroom. I was like, nah, you have to wait. So I had to wait 30 minutes for the plane to be in the fucking air before I could piss. It was, Why didn't you pee before you went? I did. I, I broke the seal. I, I drank too much. So I, it was rough. Rough go of it. You know, Tamara used to be a flight attendant. I mm-hmm. did. I did. How was it? Uh, it was fun. Did you like it? No. Um, I really, like it. I always got sick. Yeah. Did you get your I, ass grabbed by podcast? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. I did. Did I people did. fuck in the bathroom? Yes, people fucked in the bathroom all the time. People used to like cockpit? smuggle in their own alcohol duty free <laughs> on their way to Bali, drink a whole bottle of apple fucking Smirnoff. And then um, there was like a lady walking around sitting on men's laps. It was fucking weird. And then oh, this is awesome. Yeah, hey, or like um, at night, people yeah. would get a blanket. And Can I ask you something? And you'd <gasps> see it. Like Can you'd know it's happening. Go That's for it. Awesome. Cool. Can I ask yeah. you something? Where did the load go, though? Were most of the people sexually harassing you? <laughs> the holes you, in the door. Were most of the yeah. people sexually <laughs> harassing you old men? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Now, were the rudest I've customers... I've never had an old woman slap me on the ass. We have, like, sanitary pads for women who get their period on the fly. <laughs> That's yeah. not real. Um, we do. The period... No, periods, no, periods aren't periods. Re- real. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, so there was, like... <laughs> woke period, marketing. Like, <laughs> on my keyboard all the time. <laughs> if I could get out of work by saying I'm bleeding, I would too. I just you can cut, do. You don't yeah, get out I, of work. Have you seen what Elias does? He cuts his wrists. <laughs> you don't get period. out of work. I'm on my period. And they're like, bro, <laughs> you're, that's an artery. You're bleeding out. And he goes, see? <laughs> like that. Can't it's work real. I'm bleeding out. He does it here on Crackman all the time. He goes, oh, I feel a bit sick. And we go, you better not cut your wrists. <laughs> and <then he> <laughs> oh, I think he did it. No, he doesn't. <laughs> oh, sorry. Just Powering low blood. Down. Yeah, liar. Go on. <sighs> uh, I did bleed out of my bum. Didn't need to know the, that. Those are anal fishes. Oh. Go on. Oh, like... <laughs> Fishing for his anal fishes? Yeah, he shoves hooks in there and then they get caught. I uh, keep You're getting more, but... I'm going to bite! It's his prostate. Oh, yeah. He rips oh out God. his whole prostate sack. I have just How'd that Lego get everything in there? below my waist right now at the thought of that. Imagine Bear Grylls, but Bear Grylls wants to get comfy, so he rips out his prostate sack and inflates it for a, for a pillow. <laughs> Still a bit nicer than sleeping on a rock. Oh, man, I'm getting lightheaded. <laughs> the best part is you put it right back in when you're done. Do you reckon Bear Grylls has ever f- come in his own mouth? Yeah. Probably. For, for just protein. Just for seasoning. Yeah. <laughs> it's just oh, like... Oh, I've got perfect. <laughs> I mean, like, He's if like, you're going to... Oh, it needs a little salt. <laughs> and then Shoot this <laughs> one up and I'll catch it on the way this down. This is what they taught you in that SAS. How to like, take men load. How to like take that, load. It's like that trend that they had on TikTok with people slapping the cream up and catching <laughs> it in their mouth. But Bear Grylls is doing a different You've way. done that with your partner, haven't you? No, I don't eat cream. We're slapping it off what? But you do eat I... crumb. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What does that mean? Oh. Creamy cum? Everybody knows that. Oh, I thought it was crummy. Cum. Yeah, like it was yeah, like solid. Oh, like, like, um, like let's move chunks. on because people are going to hate this conversation. Yeah. <laughs> now, what were you saying about the sanita- sanitary? Oh, yeah. So we have pads on board and then like, you know, a lady had a uh, young girl mm. like, sort of pulled one of us aside and said she'd have a period. And so we're like, okay, no worries, got you, girl. So we give her one of the pads and then 
uh, a gentleman next to her saw that we had, well, this is actually my friend, given her the pad, and he demanded one, uh, not knowing what it was, and then used it as an eye mask to sleep. <laughs> wow, that's fucking embarrassing, isn't it? It was, mm. but it was just very funny. I love that that's people shocking. are like, I'm going to get what's mine. You better fucking yeah, hand like, that to it's me. Yeah, like, it's free. It's free. I want it. And yeah. it's like, you're not even going to use it. And nothing in this life is free. Okay. No. Nothing in this Except life for free is free. Stuff. Yep. Like what? Yeah. And one free thing. Oxygen. That's not free. Mm -mm. Why is it not free? You don't pay your oxygen taxes. No. Fuck. Darkness. The IRS is going to come after have you. Have you hard. seriously not paid them? Did you got to pay your oxygen, oxygen bill? Oxygen taxes. You have a massive snoz. That'd be like. Bro, yeah. You should probably check the mail because I reckon the you, I reckon the IRS are after you for that. That's a big deal. But I know a guy that went to prison for it. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. Eric, Eric right? right? Eric. He Eric. went to prison he for it as well. He went to prison well. for it as well. Yeah, Eric. Eric, the guy with the really big nose, kind of like Elias's. I know people who. How, when, I know people who don't like the government air. He's breathing in ten percent more air. I, don't, I know people who oh, don't like the government damn. air. They get They're oxygen not tanks because they prefer bottled air to like normal, just like tap air. Oh, hair air. Yeah, because you yeah. can. Then you're in charge of your own tank. Sorry, that's my. Whoa. Mom. Okay, now flying. How do I overcome this fear? Tell me. Falling. What do you mean? Jump out. Then you know what it feels like. You'll but never have to worry again. I wouldn't have to worry, but I no. feel like that would... So should I go skydiving? No. no. Swimming. Well, you could die skydiving, so yeah. Sorry. What was that, champ? Swimming. It's like flying, but in the water. He's right. Is it? Yeah. How is it like flying, but in the water? Because you're like kind of weightless a little bit. and You're not, you're like, wi you're not then, weightless like in if, the air if when you're, you're like in a plane? Super, super out in the like ocean depths and you look down, it's like bottomless. Like the world. Yeah, like like you're up in the sky. <laughs> Keep going. When you think about it, falling is like the opposite of swimming. Because like when you swim, you float up. So if you think about floating not all down, the time, not all like falling. You drown is falling. If you don't have yeah, any, but if you any air. It's like, it's like yeah, one it's like brain cell different. is being created <laughs> between the four of us. It's really uh, 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 Don't put me in your brain cell, Stu. Stew. Well, oh, there's there it is. <laughs> for me. Um, Damn it. Look, skydiving's so, pretty fucking crazy. Though. Yeah, because you've been skydiving, hey. Yeah. I was like You couldn't pay me, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it either. No. Fuck that. It just literally like, you'll I, die. Like I'm I not can't. fucking with I that. couldn't think about it for too long, otherwise I would have not gone. But there was an offer and I was like mm. If I think about this, I'm. Well, I so you need bought to say a yes. coupon. I know. You risked your life on a coupon. One time, I went skydiving seems cool, and a guy went, "Yeah, I shot uh, footage for Channel Seven, and one of my yeah. jobs was shooting skydiving competition." And a guy that did ten thousand flights went jumps, and he just fell to his death. And I filmed it all. Why didn't someone catch him? Like you know how like on Charlie's Angels, and if you go like this. Yeah, why don't you just, you why don't just, like, you just aerodynamically land? catch them or and just, then like Yeah, land on your feet. Yeah, yeah. Superhero yeah. landing. Why don't like why don't they just like have trampolines? So like you go boom and you bounce back mm. up. Like are there, it's simple solutions to simple problems. Or a bit of water. Yeah. Because then you're swimming, which is also falling. Or jelly. Imagine landing in jelly. Oh, why don't you just open up your shirt? That's a great one. It's just one. a parachute. Oh. Yeah. 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 But if the parachute's not working, why don't you just go like that? When well, you, like a is sugar it out glider, of fuel? you know, you've lost a lot of weight. Did you, you have that extra Did you skin. slow down by getting your foreskin out and using that as a parachute? Yeah, spreading it out <laughs> and like using it as like a... Yeah, I would do that. Yeah, for sure. That, my first thought parachuting, I wouldn't even pull the cord. I'd be getting my foreskin, foreskin out. Foreskin out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Tamara would just use her excessively long labias that we've all yeah, seen. Okay. And we don't, she doesn't mean to show us. They're so you long. You just peekaboo out the bottom of my pants sometimes. It's crazy. She wears jeans Cuffs. every time. I do. She wears cuffed I jeans do. as well. Cuffed jeans. Yeah. Well, sometimes they're elastic at the bottom and she tapes up her, her yeah. bottom of her pants to stop the labia from falling Like out. a doctor would tape a glove <laughs> yeah, to yeah. stop infection. It doesn't work. No. They mm. still slip out. Yeah, they a mind they're of their frisky. Own. They like to say, hey. Yeah. When when she's excited, we hear the wind hitting them and it, it sounds like sheets in the wind on a clothesline. <laughs> yeah. Or like that scene in Rocky Balboa where he's punching the meat that's hanging on the hook. It's like what? that. I don't understand. That's that's Tamara getting off. Yeah. She she gets she gets her partner to bash her. If you've seen that scene in Rocky Balboa where he's boxing the meat, that's Tamara's partner getting her off. Um What's Beat your no phobia, meat. Goob? No, 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 no. It's no. yours, darling. Mine. Yep. What's your phobia? Jenny? Hats, balding, alien, spiders. Whoa, 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 whoa. Women, whoa, 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 men, whoa, whoa. commitment. What shoes, the fuck? Moving guys? out of your parents' house. No, I've only Cleanliness. really got one kind of phobia. A can without an opener. <laughs> <laughs> stew that's yeah. stew that doesn't have enough saturated fats and salt. A hammock <laughs> with no trees. <laughs> Look, out of all A those, rowboat. 
no rose. Running out of paint for your miniatures. Oh. oh a re- paint tax. Games Having workshop. too many paint to actually have to paint your miniatures. Games Workshop rocking up to your house and arresting you for all the 3D prints you're doing. Oh, fuck them. I'll kill no, we'll bleep that. <laughs> Why? Bleep that. Bleep that. We're not bleep bleeping that. that. No, bleep that. One time Elias stole no, a bunch of stuff off. from his... <laughs> um, that's his true phobia. That's that reaction. <laughs> out of all of them, out of all of the stuff that you said, it's probably... <laughs> there's only one that really kind of like... Uh, Tickles your pickle. You yeah, your pickle. which is Aliens. No, like, uh, like since I was a kid, you have a ever phobia since... though. Yeah, yeah, it's a fucking like like those little gray, it's a fucking gray alien scare him genuinely. <laughs> it's like it gets to a point, really. Like, yeah, or it, like any kind of like, yeah, it's fucked up. What if they're like on a TV show? Yeah, yeah. TV show or like just what? like. So can about I ask a question? Like, War yeah. of the Worlds. Not yeah, scary. fucked me up. Not what? scary though. Not gray aliens. aliens. They don't even show them, do they? They, they do. Them. They do, but they're not gray aliens. Oh. They are pretty they're like weird. They are kind of alien looking. Oh, like so is, was it the like, aliens or was it the invasion? It was both. It was like it's oh, similar. Yeah. I've had like reoccurring nightmares of aliens and shit when I was a kid as well. Like oh. of like UFOs like fucking tracking me down and stuff. And like what if it's having, real and that's your memory being wiped of the experience? Yeah, and I've had sleep paralysis with aliens as well. Like oh the, really? Yeah, it's fucked. He was up. just. Is that? Yeah. N- that not, wasn't sleep. Maybe paralysis. that was just an abduction. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. What's but crazy is like, like crazy. what happened. I want to know what the sleep paralysis. What happened? It was just like an alien in the corner of the room, just like watching me sleep. Was he gray? Kind of like a gray? <laughs> was he like a big head alien? Like, like I, a little like fellow? It was, it, I couldn't really like see, but I could like feel like a presence there. And I could see it like a shape him. of like a... <laughs> it was probing him. I could feel thing. the presence. And the thing, like I was talking about aliens with my friend like early in the night as well. And like it was, and it just like, and we're it, living in this weird as fuck place. And, like, were you it really just, like, high? Uh, no, I wasn't smoking anything um, at that time. Um, Injecting. Yes. That's different. <laughs> I, he uh, takes medicine. medicinal heroin. That's and then we don't, guys, uh, yeah. we're not gonna, we don't need to bring up medicinal heroin. Syringes like, are for doctors. He, yeah. takes, <laughs> he takes medicinal heroin. There is nothing wrong with that. It's fine. Um, but that is Micro interesting dosing. because you and I, like, I went on a big uh, alien mm. rabbit hole. Still have some beliefs in there. Um, I honestly, I think it's fascinating. Like, I love all of the alien shit, but I'm still fucking terrified of it. Yeah. It's I th- like, I, I'm interested in it, but I'm also terrified. I, if I, that makes sense. I think if an alien wanted to probe me, it's going to probe me. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't bother me. It's just going to happen. It's like nukes. If you're going to get nuked, you're going to get nuked. Mm-hmm. Asteroid, you're going to get hit. Yeah. You're going to get probed by an alien and called Gling Glong the thought third. Then, like, maybe that happens. Uh, maybe that's how you guys find love. Oh, fuck. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um, Damn. Yeah, aliens. Um, you don't like spiders either. They're weird. That's I'm okay weird. with spiders. I don't have a phobia of spiders. I just, I don't like Oof. them. Like, I'm just like, That's oh. fair. I don't like spiders either. What's interesting? Like, I, can, I, like, I can, like, look at one in a car. Uh, I'm more like uh, snakes. I can't do snakes. Oh, really? Cool. Snakes freak like you out? Snakes. Well, we're not here to fuck spiders, but I am. So, oh, what? Yeah. that's a reference to a very famous Australian phrase. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I remember, fuck speaking spiders. of aliens again, Australians I remember when I was a kid walking past a property that was, like, an empty property, and I just, like, felt that my like the presence? hair raise up on the back of my neck and i just felt like yeah like a presence like in like just this middle the middle of this fucking thing and it freaked the fuck out of me and i like sprinted home i was like there's well, someone watching me from i actually that. know oh, the house you're talking like about from alien yeah the thing is though and i let's clarify something i know the house you're talking about there's a guy with down syndrome that lives there and I've mm. got to remind you again, people with extra chromosomes are not aliens. That wasn't that house. It's a different foreign. time, dude. I know, but that time you freaked out as well and you kept screaming alien and then you said UFO because he was on a bike. It's like you can't say that yeah. shit, dude. That's <laughs> just a human being. And you said he had those eyes. For the record, I never said that. That, was that never happened. <laughs> this. Um, what, are you not like Down syndrome <laughs> people or some shit? <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy, dude. That's the, 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 that you can't say that shit. Like, we're inclusive here. Yeah. You know, when I was a kid, talking about phobias, I was scared of the hospital. And I went to the hospital a few times, and I remember seeing a kid who was clearly bald with, like, cancer or something. Had, <laughs> had all these scars on his head. And I was, like, maybe five. And I was like, oh, I don't know what they're doing to kids in here. Like, what do they do to oh. kids in here? I saw a Down syndrome person walk by. And I was like, weird looking dude, but that's fine. Like, it didn't click in my brain. I didn't know what they were. And then I went back to the hospital, saw another one. I was like, whoa, that's weird. You thought hospitals giving people Down syndrome? No, I thought they were cloning people. 
And until I was like eight, I didn't know Down syndrome people. I thought they were clones. And I would, I was, <laughs> I was at the point of like too scared to say anything because I thought it was like a giant um, conspiracy. Like and I was the only one picking up on it. But I've never heard something so I'm funny crying. and so obscene. I can't. I'm wearing Holy a fuck. scar and you fucked me. But um, I, I remember being oh. a kid and they would like walk by and I'd be in the groceries. I'd be like picking apples and my mom's getting apples. And I'm like going to grab one. I see a Downs guy. I'm like, oh my God, were you shocked Star watching um, Star Wars episode two? Oh, and yeah. I like, knew that. This is fucking fake. None of these people look like the clones I know. <laughs> well, I just thought they were cloning a very odd looking person, you know? They're not odd looking. Oh, that's a choice. They're cute. <laughs> They're cute. They're cute in, in presence. Oh, my goodness. They're nice people. They're always so lovely. They are genuinely Except so for that. lovely. Well, that Fucking ad. Hitler cunt. He did not have Down syndrome. He had Downs. No? No. Nah. Oh, God. Well, so aliens are your fear. Yeah. Well, half the audience is going to say, don't worry, they're not real. And the other half is going to send you direct messages saying, I've had an experience and you need to hear yeah. it. Mm -hmm. It's it's crazy because I think and they're real. Both. I think they're out there. I think they are hundred percent real. Like, is that what do you like, mean? Like in what form? In grey alien. Like form. in human esque form. Yeah, I, I reckon. Know. I reckon hundred percent they've been here. And the only yeah. the only evidence I have now, and I've gone through like obsessive. You reckon weird 100%. You reckon they're just like mm, nah, Earth, not for me. Eighty five percent because I can't okay. be certain on anything, yeah. but. The only thing that really blows my mind the most is the aerial school phenomenon. That is like the most yeah. fucking absurd Sorry, the what? case study I've ever seen. The that changed what? my. It's just like a bunch of, bunch of kids in the 90s in the, on the playground, like hundreds of them started screaming and running and all of them individually said a UFO landed and a little green person came out. And then they were all interviewed by John Mack, a Harvard psychologist. And they all said in individual interviews recorded the same thing about this experience drew it and then 20 something years later it then said the same thing again and there's hundreds of witnesses teachers as well it is fucking absurd anyway could be something else could be like a psyop who knows but like religion's been using that one for ages like the people like oh god appeared to me mass hysteria the world's gonna end yeah but what that could have been aliens, aliens. What See, if it that's was what aliens? dumb say <laughs> <laughs> well i mean like the other thing is with mass hysteria what's interesting is like it comes from a place of lack of understanding. So like, yeah, it very well could just be that we did, there, it's like a lack of science understanding. Cause you've got things like ball lightning and weird shit people experience, mm. seizures, drugs. Like I guarantee a lot of these people were having epile like epileptic fits were being possessed by God and like drugs and like imagine psilocybin. Oh, like they would have just been having a little bit of mushroom. Mm. Yeah. And lying. Of... So what's your phobia, Goob? Uh... Getting raped by a priest. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sh I think sharks or like open water. Yeah. Okay. But I think, I don't know if it's the water because I don't like sharks. Like I'm, I can go to oh. SeaWorld and stuff and like see a shark. What about in those be... underwater when you go through the tank yeah, and that's they're fine. swimming above it's you? Awesome. It, it does not. I think I could be on a boat and look down and see a shark and it wouldn't freak me out. It's the idea of How being in the water. How big is the boat that once if it's a tinny? Sharks, would freak me sharks out. Sharks are the unseen abyss. Like, what if you're on a canoe? With, like, a glass canoe. Yeah, no, fuck that. Sharks don't typically attack boats unless they think it's food. <clears throat> so they won't normally attack a boat. Um, and also, I got. speaking of this, The Shallows, the movie The Shallows, Goob said he told me he had to turn it off because the what, shark... with Blake Lively? Yeah, because yeah. it stressed him out so much. And I went, yeah. fuck, it must be a good shark movie. And I watched it and it's like... It's just a really real looking shark. It made me laugh oh, because I was yeah. like, like, I cannot believe you turned this off. It looked CG, but it was like, I fucking hate Especially with sharks, because I don't like horror. Mm. No, like, I just don't be horror. Yeah, yeah. And sharks, ha the way, like, it's always suspense. Because there, it's nothing. When you're in the water, it's like a curtain. So it's yeah. Like, yeah, they do just come out of they, nowhere. Yeah, they come they're out of nowhere. They've spotted you before you've spotted they're them. They're built for an environment that we're not built for. Oh, and they're just yeah. so good at it. Well, they don't even like eating us, which is interesting. But but they fucking do. What's my, your my, well, oh. One of my biggest fears is actually that the podcast isn't funny that. enough. So let's not yeah, try and be too like fucking this. dramatic. But... Go on, what's your biggest fear? Oh, uh, my biggest fear. Um, oh, 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 oh. Uh, it's not guns, is it? Look, it's like top three. Or roses. Watching other people brush their teeth. No, what no one else fuck? gets really, really? sweaty. Do you, like, when I watch other people brush their teeth, my teeth start tingling and I feel like I start, and I gag, I gag. Really? I gag aggressively. Why? Yeah. Is it like... I don't know. It, I hate it in what about movies. People the putting... sound. It's like nails down a chalkboard. You know how some people are like, ugh. What like about an electric, that shit electric all day. Tooth I don't electric. Fluff. No, it's just the thought. What and if then, their mouth closed? And then, you know, when people say things like, oh, babe, did you get the toothbrush? 
and then in that moment they've that admitted that they fucked. share a toothbrush. What is with that? I yeah, can't that's breathe. That's not real. No, it, it is real. Sick. People people have they say, couples. They say things like, get the toothbrush yeah. publicly, out loud. People, one singular toothbrush, two people. You share a bar of soap? That's not real. Okay, two let's, people, let's look toothbrush. at bathroom etiquette. Okay, couple bathroom etiquette. I can't Bar deal. of soap, you can share a bar of soap. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Towel, oh, I, but if, you have to know the person you're sharing the soap with. There but, has to be a no, certain a level of trust. It also it depends yeah. how you're using the soap. If you're putting it yeah. onto something, or if you're like putting it directly yeah. oh, onto your body. Do you do you soap your hands to wash the bod, or do you use? No, the I soap? rub that shit all in my body. I like wash the actual bar right itself. Hand. I'm a single oh. man living alone. See, that's, yeah, see, yeah, I, 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 see I use soap with I you. use body wash anyway, so this is a silly. Concept. Oh, what a way to kill the environment! Admit it. Um, I use body wash with glitter in it, so I fucking hate the environment. You sure what do, the vampire. Fuck? <laughs> um, towels. It's my spark. If you needed to share a towel with your partner, that I would, would be a no-brainer. I, I would never You're share clean. a towel with my partner. You're clean. Why would you never You're share clean. a towel? You've come out I, clean. Amy's because like, okay, so I have a shower. I take the towel and I hang it up. Yeah. Yeah. She has to wait how long till she can have a shower? Yeah, you you. Because it's a wet towel. The second to, but it's clean. Yeah, but it's a wet towel. What's actually going on is he constantly leaves brown stains on his towels and he's oh. embarrassed. He doesn't want anyone to see his brown stains. Ta- towels. Well, only there's a reason for that. How now, brown towel? <laughs> well, you'd be perfect also, for Elias because he never brushes his teeth. Perfect. He just chips no, it off. No, I want them to do it. I just don't want to watch. Like, yeah, like you know, those fun movies are all like, huh, and they're like fl- playing in the like cinema, like not in the bring cinema. Bring it on. You're talking about bring it on. The, yes. Yes. And do you know what? I think that literally, I was bleh, bleh, the whole time. What an odd fear. Yeah. I thought you'd say the death of your children, but okay. Oh, that's that's inevitable with the draft and all. Nah, <laughs> they're too young. They won't get drafted. Qu- question about... Showers and towels, though, as well. Yeah. Do you oh guys? What are they? Uh, <laughs> <What's> <laughs> <a> shower. <laughs> no. Uh, when I finish a shower, I always like, like, like go like that on. They just get all like the big the wet residue. Residue off. Wait, yeah, before like you hair, towel. Like you rinse... Before I towel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You like just dust to, so it doesn't off. wet the towel as much as it. I know people would. that do that. Yeah, I don't do that. The towel's there to dry me. Do your job, towel. I you know get saying? in trouble yeah, like a lot a for few seconds not drying myself. Doing that. Yeah, I do that. I, I like on my shoulders. Yeah, I yeah, do my, that. Yeah, I do and that. I get too. in trouble yeah, and yeah. I get toweled off when I get out. And I'm yeah, like, I. I have I'm olive oil just... showers. Oh yeah, and they're really good for we you. We can tell. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to be Greek, trying to inher- trying yeah, to ing- right. embrace my Greek heritage. Well, I'm surprised that you don't use that technique in the draft and just slip right out of there, you greasy boy. Uh, <laughs> They'll catch you. You'll never get me. They have they have Olive anti grease anti grease yeah, measures in the army. People did that. They golden have showers are my favorite. They golden have nets. showers. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Where uh, you get Kelly. pissed on. Whoa! No, no, just liquid gold pouring that on me that's highly poisonous you'd pro- that's really it's toxic very hot too to be yeah that would that, yeah, didn't they game of, of thrones a dude <gasps> they yeah. game of thrones that guy yeah, yeah. dude that the girls love it though because it yeah. makes you look really rich no it doesn't it yeah. makes you die it's solid gold no not me dude why are you touching oh, the ball is it because he hits Cause the they, back they, of his head and burns nah, his hair me, off? He checks his ball spot, make sure bit, he's not like... A little bit It's plated, back. gold plated. What's uh, funny is that the part that's going bald is his softest part of his skull. So like you can touch it and it's like like a baby uh, skull. Like it's not... There's no... It's not... Oh, it's not... The plates fused. aren't connected. It's hunched. It's oh. crazy. Bitted. So is the hunch the actual skull or is it the brain tissue? Brain matter of sort. Okay, it's brain skull. <laughs> do you have a? Do you have any other fears? Mm. Um, oh, snakes! But I feel like that's a Balloons. normal one because. Have you ever considered to get overcome your fear of snakes by grabbing one and putting it up your ass? Because that way you'd kind of. I don't understand. need to put one up my ass. I have a perfectly good vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. She traps them with her big Sorry. labias. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Come and get them, girls. Um, no. Bald mm. lose. You should do a reverse <laughs> mullet. <laughs> Sorry. The curtain. Down yeah, the front. yeah. Do it. No, nah, don't do that. I had that for a bit. Did you? You're doing that right now, really, huh? <laughs> no, well, I had the full long hair. It got cut here. <gasps> yeah, you did the Lord the Farquaad. You did the Lord Farquaad. You Lord can see Farquaad. it in classics. <gasps> Should we do any other vlogs and stuff? Like nah, that kind of stuff? Fuck style that noise. Video? Bro. That, they're, they're pretty fun. Yeah, until Connor has to edit them and write them. Can we go, like, to a place? Yeah, Is they're that... just exhausting to make. Why? They take because f- they don't really yield us a lot of views, and they take forever to um, edit. Like, I got to create a whole story, then I got to voice over them. It's fucking exhausting. It's a long, long okay, process. Okay, fine. We won't do anything. Fun. If we get another editor or someone who's keen to make them, I'd, I'd be so. What down. if you want me to voice over it? No, what the fuck? You get the That's fucking the best job. Part, yeah, huh? fuck off. No, you can edit them if you want and write them. Mm. I my favorite people are the ones that are convinced 
that there's a two, two common there's two uh venn diagram here's the thing really really wealthy kids that grew up in mansions can trying to convince their friends to abandon society and live on a plot of land and separate it all and grow fruit and veg together those are the that that's combined and you miss the the central piece oh what's that drugs Oh, and, and drugs, yeah. yeah. But what and a specific drug? It's MD, isn't it? It's MD. No, it's always Holy weed and mushrooms. Drugs. Whatever yeah. that puts holes oh, in your brain. Oh, mushroomy. Oh, anyway. um, the um, acid. Yeah, and then oh, and then they say there. it's authentic living and they <laughs> say it's the real. Holes. And it's and it's a fucking cult. But like You're we starting should, a cult. guys. What's Math. wrong yeah. with that? Yeah. yeah, meth. Oh, let's do it. Let's just do it. Yeah. Oh, I by could... the way, I want to sell my part of land, so you will, be, we're going to have to sell. We would have a, need a lot of land, though, to sustain the amount of food that we need to grow to survive. But I think and, and, and gas. And you'd probably need to find a way I've to got gas get covered. gas. Oh, sweet. Yeah, true. You don't need Elias. gas. He's a never ending. Oh, we don't yeah. need gas? What do you need gas? You have fire. Oh, Maybe. so we're not going to pay rates or anything? We don't need to pay for no. bills? Oh, I'm cool, not we're living paying off the, the man. We're living off greed, right? Yeah, no yeah, sewage, no electricity. So we'll just like at night, we'll just all hop on our PCs and play like games no, and stuff? We'll, no, we don't we'll believe in that. One, we don't have one of the acreages would just be like a, essentially a litter box. Yeah, right. And, um, oh, we'll just, so like who has the litter means. box? Off the litter box, they're like, no oh, I've got to go and there's no litter again. We don't have like a leader or anything, right? A leader? I'll be the leader. You want to be the great leader. But you want to be reasonable and stuff, right? Yeah, for sure. We all just have to fuck and um. Yeah. Sorry. What? In front of her for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's what God would want. Yeah. Now, well, that's what you God guys don't does. have like you guys <laughs> don't have. Out here and we're whooping you guys don't have like really rich parents or anything. Yep. That if this all goes Lockheed wrong, Martin, you can just go my dad owns him. Your dad, your dad is the Lockheed Martin. <laughs> yeah, his name is Lockheed Martin, and he owns Lockheed yeah, Martin. Yeah. So you guys don't like if Pretty it goes cool. wrong. It's not like a play thing. You guys really care, right? You're not just going to leave once you fuck who you want to fuck. Uh, we will. Anyone who says anything oh, wrong gets not. pushed away to the sides and dies. In oh, the they wilderness. ostracize people who they yeah. don't agree with. I'm mm-hmm. not Should going. we all cut our heads into mullets and die at blue? You should. I think we should all drink some some yummy drinks and just yeah. Chill out. yeah. What sort of drinks are we going to drink? Paint? They might not taste good, but I like Cotty's Cordial. <laughs> I like Kool Aid. Different. I like oh, Kool-Aid. this no, one's got no, some spice in no. it. No, this one's this one's different. What's a name we could give it? What's a name we I could like give paint. the place? Um, ah. <laughs> well, I like the show Keeping Up with the Joneses, so maybe we call it Jonestown. No, mm. I'm more. Let's try Massacre at the end. Well, let's wait for that. Okay. <laughs> maybe we'll call a maybe festival like that. A, maybe like a Skelter, Helter Skelter, oh, I don't know. Helen Keller? Helen Keller. Helen Keller. The Helen Keller, no one can no one and sees no one. Jones yeah. Place. Yeah, Jones Place. Jones Place. The sounds Jones nice. Place. Jones Street. <laughs> Welcome to Jones Street. <laughs> da, 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 da. That sounds but good. But if we have enough people in houses, it's kind of like a town, right? Yeah, so like, like a cult. Like a cult. You can leave any time, but yeah. like, yeah. Oh, why would leave? you? Though? I can just leave. You yeah. could leave, but yeah. like, you don't have anything to would go back to. Would you guys still no talk to me if there. I leave? Would you guys talk to me? Probably not. We've, no. we've got a lot of friends. Yeah, here. we yeah. got left. So. Oh, the best parts of the world are where we but are. My family. Yeah. Could I still talk to my family if they wanted to stay? No. No. Oh, probably oh, not. What are you going to do? Why don't you need your family? They don't need you. You could write. Oh. You could write to them. Yeah. We we are your family. Oh, okay. Um, and should we all like maybe like never ever pursue a real career and just like pretend the world's the problem? But you're the wood carrier guy. That's your career. Yeah. I am the wood carrier guy. And no I'm, one the, I'm the gold wood counting like guy. Tamara's the wealth counting guy. And I waste stuff. And they sound the, w- the same. They're different They're jobs. They're different jobs. You waste stuff? Yeah. How much? How, what does that weigh? 750. He's on probation. Yeah, he's not very good. He's used to weighing cum in his ass. It's a very different weighing <laughs> technique. Yeah, he's got to yeah. be upside down. you got to put things in his ass to yeah. weigh them. Yeah. To really get he has it. to be in a full handstand. And he goes, right, first, before you put that in, put in the um, the weighing rocks. And he wants you to. <laughs> we have to make him weigh a ton first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we... But, like, they have to be really dry. <laughs> yeah, that is He odd. doesn't like them wet. No lube. We no. did really clay once, so you got in trouble. <laughs> That's my specialty. Like testicles? <laughs> yeah. You, let, you want people to stick their testicles in your ass? Oh, no, you no, cup no, him. No, no, I cup him. He's our doctor. How often are you cupping balls? <laughs> You're the do- he's the doctor. He's the town doctor. He oh. checks your balls first because God said heavy balls is heavy uh, oh. heavy morals? spirit and oh, morals. Spirit. Okay, so what would you give me? What prescription medication would you give me if I was struggling with Oh, we don't do prescription. No. I it's method, cup methamphetamine. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, like, I, you know, we, we come from an art background filmmaking background hmm. um we were around some fucking loser art people we are literally one step away from a cult being in Crack the arts yeah but we're, but we're like we're mm. like the same reason we left traditional filmmaking is because they all suck 
and they're all like little aliens, aren't they? Well, like society. Cute. Society sucks. Let's just go make our own stuff. I just don't like people doing the big. Let's go make our own comedy. Capitalism, capitalism is a problem. So let me be in charge. Like that's all I hear. I hate capitalism. I want to be the boss. And then mm. I feel like the cycle continues. I don't like. What are you talking about? I don't like democratic elections. I like dictatorships. So. Yeah. I like dick. If that's similar. And oh my god, you same. like potatoes. Yeah. Dick dick potatoes. Potatoes. Dictators. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We were and ships about boats. This earlier. That's yeah. our restaurant. Yeah, the Vlad- dictatorship. Vladimir takeaway. You mean Vladimir the Impaler? Vladimir the Impaler? No, no, no. no we, we, Vladimir... we ditched that one. We were going to do dictatorship. Oh, Vladimir and it's Putin, like Vladimir stuffed take- potatoes yeah, yeah. that are take shaped away. like it's dicks. Like Takeout store. And you can have I reckon you're going to get killed doing that. Why? You know Eminem has a oh, restaurant well, called Mumps. Well, Elias won't be the front man. It'll be me. Mumford and Sons? You'd be out the back way in everyone's balls. <laughs> Did you say Mumford and Sons? Yeah. What, what relevance yeah. was that? You just said it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although I saw the movie Orphan. And that was oh, fucking weird. Oh, that was fucking weird. Yeah. She's like actually like 37. Yeah, the, the spoiler well, is they, she's adopt, not a kid they adopt a girl. Who and just has like that syndrome where she looks young. Yeah. yeah. Little Man. They made a movie about this, bro. It's called Orphan. Orphan. No, Little Man. Orphan. With one of the Wayans. And she su- tries to seduce the dad. Yeah, it's fucked. That's fucked. And then I read that the actress is 12. No. So they, yeah, so they didn't get oh. an adult with the no. disease. They hired someone that was older than That's nine fucked. years old that could look old. So they dra- it's weirdly pedo, even though it's like, oh, it's a 35 year old, so it wasn't weird and pedophilic. It is still pedophilic. That is, that's, that's like child. the anime shit. Yo, Rob Schneider. I remember. Oh, is this the Nickelodeon stuff? I, no, that's Dan Schneider. Oh. I remember, <laughs> I remember <laughs> being, loving the hot chick as a kid. Oh, yeah. Boys are cheats and I liars. Lo- I love They're the such hot a chick. big disgrace. They will tell you anything to get in, to second. Like baseball, baseball, baseball. He thinks it, he's going to score. If you let him go all the way, then you are a horticulturist. Yeah. Yeah, and um, sure. there's a scene in The Hot Chick where uh, a 17-year-old girl switches uh, uh, bodies with uh, Rob fight. Schneider. And um, <laughs> so he's like a 40-something-year-old man. In mm. hanging out with a seven, his seventeen year old girl He's best friend. Old and ugly. Technically, it's me. technically it's Rachel McAdams. Yeah. Jessica. Okay, we get it. They'll watch I'm the sorry. fucking movie if they want to hear the lines tomorrow. We don't like the movie anymore. No, I just wanted to say it's that creepy. there's a scene in the movie where a seventeen year old girl asks Rob Schneider, a forty year old man, to see his dick, and they're in the seventeen year old girl's room, and he just shows his cock off to a seventeen year old girl. Really fucking. Weird. But it didn't happen IRL. No, but it's just a weird thing to write into a film. Well, girls were curious, I guess. I liked it. Were those girls 17, like the actresses? In that same film, he's like digging on his boobies, isn't he? In in her body? He's like, he gets a period. Rob Schneider's character. Yeah, and then he runs to go get to the store. But then like the whole bit is he's meant to be a 17-year-old girl and and a 40-year-old man's body, but he just plays a queer guy. He's just gay. He's just like mocking a gay dude the whole way through it. That's all the movie is. Yeah, because that's all his range is. He play- Juice well, Bigelow, no, male gigolo is no. a piece of art. Did someone say that's, steak? That's not his whole range. Have you have you not have you not seen Animal? Ah, uh, yeah. He I, can play a whole movies, range of different animals. All these movies, <laughs> I like literally see the shitty white poster with like the <laughs> yeah. red him. title yeah. and him, and I go, "This looks like dog shit," and I skip it every time. Yeah. Except Juice Bigelow, male gigolo, I, and hit sequel. I Juice watched Bigelow. the second I, one, and I I went, that's "This is the shittiest I movie." I went to the cinema to see that. I as a as a twelve year old, Juice Bigelow, male gigolo, hit good. No, you weren't twelve. I was twelve because we had to get have a parent come to with us. I saw it when I was twelve. I'm not saying I saw it in the movies in oh. 1975 or whenever the fuck you went to the cinema. It was black and white. Let's go to the pictures and there see that juice going, bigelow all right time for juice bigelow yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's next to watch it someone's his day rob schneider's on the piano oh, um, but he's for some reason asian face well of course because that's what he does he can play anyone he's ambiguous Massive except for white guy he's the only guy that be- can beat cancel culture he's the most offensive part of 50 first dates he beat it up How, he fucks that movie up adam sandler's not attractive that fucks that movie that up. fucks that movie yeah, up. But i hate adam sandler i'm not a fan I like Adam Sandler. He's literally like a deadbeat. I just, it's he's the same. Schmuck. Except he's yeah. all right in the Merowitz stories. I haven't seen What's that. Merowitz it's story? a Noah Bambrack thing. A what? Noah Bambrack. You're talking about that nerd shit again? You're going to have to smack sorry, it up. Sorry, 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 sorry. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. What the fuck? I just, so I just feel like he's got the same voice, the same vibe, the same uh, everything. Yeah, do your uh, thing. Oh, nah, yeah, do Adam nah, Sandler, nah, do nah, it. Nah, do nah, Adam nah. Sandler, bro. You do a nah, great Adam Sandler. You, nah, I don't, I don't want to do my Adam Sandler impression. Do it. Adam Sandler and Click. <clears throat> yeah, do Adam Sandler and oh, Click, that- and then the the Daddy one. Oh, yeah, do that. 
the da- daddy, big daddy, big, big daddy. daddy. So do the first Adam Sandler impression, then do the little second Nikki. one, yeah, and then do little Nikki third. Okay, you tell us when of, you a transition. Lot of, a lot of impressions. Please, please, please I didn't want to do an impression. Yeah, I will. I'll do one. All right, we'll guess which one it is. Can you guess guess which one? <laughs> that's so easy dude. oh my god that that's was little just Nikki. that was adam sandler i'm gonna say that was, that was adam sandler was, at the show oh he was just shopping was i'm gonna say that was fucking like thank you thank you that's genuinely <laughs> i'm like cargo pants <laughs> an oversized t-shirt an oversized i'm i'm the average man are you mocking i'm the average man are you mocking but like thinking people? back on 50 first dates that's a predator Right. Yeah, yeah. I 100% he's taking advantage of a disabled woman. Yeah. And he's uh, the dad. And he, in fact, is disabled. That's why they cast him. And yeah. he, I think it would like, Barrymore's dad is literally like, hey, please don't do this. Like, she's like, but I spe- love like, her. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> but, but, like, then he, like, impregnates her. So imagine waking up pregnant, nine months pregnant all the time. Yeah, that's Imagine a, waking up to that. Oof. It's divine. He just goes, <laughs> it's divine. Very, Some days he's just like, oh, I didn't do that. <laughs> I'm sick of your shit, Lucy. I can't stand this shit. He knocks, uh. When he's really tired of her, he just knocks her out, makes her go back to bed so she forgets. He cheats on her all the time. And she's oh, he like, could easy it. cheat. Does Do you he, remember? Does really he can't fix it? They, they're on a boat. So imagine waking up with a six-year-old kid and you're on That's a boat right. and he makes her a VHS tape, which, please, um, <laughs> is a load of shit and just shows all their memories. Right. Like, it's just like waking up after being roofied. Now, another... Every damn day. Another c- criticism... You can AI that now. Another criticism I have <laughs> what, of roofies? excuse me. Another right. criticism I have of Adam Sandler movies, yeah. Click. Right, I was thinking about Click because I, I don't hate Click, but Click is like he gets a magic remote, he can do anything with it. And the problem with the film is he goes, "I want to skip until I have my promotion." Like, and he skips till he has promotion. He basically neglects his family, and like you see that he's like going through his life. Why wouldn't you just fucking get lottery numbers, find out the lottery numbers? Oh, go back in time because it's Adam Sandler. and then be like I, I i quit my job that's ruining my life and now i can live you wouldn't even need to use the remote ever again because he doesn't actually like his family like you could literally you could you could fucking you could save lives with that shit you could be like you could just stop well you could stop 911 it's just jumper without the remote jumper was cool it's the same thing he has cool. the same ability like it's just he has a remote every t- every was the one the one with Justin Timberlake and then in time, in time. Is that the same thing too? No, no. Just a that's in just a guy shocking. with short hair in a jacket, and you thought they're the same movie. What if time is money, <laughs> but it was real? That's what that's what that movie is. Stop. And who's that girl who's in it? Um, uh, Olivia, Mila, not, Mila Kunis. Is it Mila? Is it? That's be, that's best friends. That fuck. Best friends. Fuck. Yeah, best friend. Fuck movie. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Man, friends. Don't make anything these days. Mm. Um, yeah, I I think um, I think. I, 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 a click upsets me that he makes so many stupid decisions. Stop. I was do, putting it down. I was putting it away. Give me the gun. Okay. In Avengers. Yeah. Do you reckon when the portal opened up to fight Thanos, Adam Sandler's click was there? Yeah. What do you mean? And he went. Like when they went to kill Thanos and all the Avengers. Yeah. They, they, do you reckon Adam Sandler's you know click? Did, Whatever went, his name is. Let's, I assume it's Let's click. fast forward to when I get a promotion <laughs> and he skips. And he's like, I and Thanos just killed half the world. <laughs> he's like, oh, that was silly Shit. of me. What if yeah. I go back in time? And beat Thanos before his promotion, then he never got the glove. That's how you've sold it. You know what? Like, let's let's. I think Happy Gilmore's good. The golf one. Yeah, I think but Billy also Madison's that's good. Yeah, but it's same movie. Mm. Just made the same is. movie What's twice. The gem? Why yeah. have you seen? I, uh, seen I can't it. fucking I'm watch. I had to turn it off because what? I saw what was happening in that movie like twenty, like halfway through, and went, "I'm done." Which one? Sorry, Uncut, Uncut Gems. Gems, the one where. He's, oh, I haven't seen uh, it. It's an A twenty four film, so might as well give it a watch. Is that that? <laughs> is it A twenty four? Well, it's good. That the lady who said the uh, the that viral thing about I'm a muse, muse, muse lady, muse, muse. What, what are you talking Uncut about? Uncut gems. I was so and so. Forget it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, it was like a controversy. At she was time. dating Kanye West. Mm. Kim Kardashian. No, after. Forget it. He, don't worry. Pete I haven't Davidson. seen Uncut Gems anyway. He dated Kanye West. Yeah, don't break no. up with your yeah, girlfriend, Uncut guy. Gems. Sorry. Uncut Gems is just uh, Mr. Bean if it was a dramatic where everything just collectively goes wrong and wrong and wrong and like there's no so relief. Life. Yeah, but there's no relief. It's just like endless. Life? At least in life, you can kill yourself if you're really tired of it. He well, why did do... no one kill themselves in Uncut Gems? I don't know. He just didn't want to. And I think that's silly. Mm, into it. Mm. Do you reckon Kirk Cobain would be one of the Avengers? Nah. No? Too powerful. <laughs> Sorry. 
way too powerful. It's too good. Always has a shotgun hiding somewhere. Never know where. The, the trick That's is what his name would be shotgun. <laughs> immortality, but he's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> My superpower is immortality. Watch. <laughs> well, he was wrong about that. What if? What if he was? Actually, that would be. Oh, it was mortality. That would be, <laughs> <laughs> that would be a really funny skit. What if he yeah, had? What if? What's your superpower? Uh, very bad. Immortality. Immortality. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. Watch. <laughs> What and if he like, was? They flip his little badge where it says what everyone's got. Like it's like the X Men and the training I'm center. I'm mortality. <laughs> I'm mortal. I'm mortal. He's just like the guy with the clipboard. <laughs> you, you had a great joke there, and you just your inability yeah. to spell got you there, didn't it? Yeah, you can spell. <laughs> what if he, what if he was? But he had like a kryptonite ring from his home planet. He, Courtney was like, "Here, I'll put this on," and he put it on and killed himself. And he used to do that every night as a party trick. And then what, one day she just she swapped just out the ring. She just gave him kryptonite ring and he died. She swapped it out. I reckon it was her. Nah, Courtney. It's the most sensible explanation. Do you want to know why I don't believe it's Courtney? What's her last name? Jefferson. World peace. <laughs> <laughs> Kennedy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I just need to take, I need to take a step back. Jefferson. Why, why? Where did Jefferson come from? Loves the stage. My now. brain. It just appeared. Her last name is Love, and not Jefferson. I'm going to kill my husband or boyfriend. Oh. So, and his name was Cobain, no. not Bulletproof. <laughs> so it, that makes sense. Yeah, it was it was Cobain? It like it wasn't Bulletproof. It wasn't Bullet bu Go Go Gadget Bulletproof head. <laughs> I still love that idea that JFK's one superpowers makes his head explode, and there's and one <laughs> there's one dude, and as he he looks over and he goes. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Just drunk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they were drunk one night. He's like, you can't do that. He's like, I can and I will. What, you can grow it back? No, I just know I can. You can't. And then they just one day decide to do it. <laughs> How are we going to explain it? I don't know. Mm, no, <laughs> Say a guy shot him. Magneto was there. I don't know. Yeah. Why am I laughing so hard at this? Cracks me up we're that funny, dude. in X-Men, they just like, Magneto's a good guy. He tried to stop JFK from getting shot. He still failed. X Men, <laughs> what are they? Up? Women? Did they explain how he fucked it up? What X Men, what are they? Women? Yeah. Oh, as in they used to be men. Yeah. Yeah. That's not bad. Nah, because some of the X Men are women. Like yeah. Storm, ha Halle Berry's and the Storm. The blue one. The blue one. They went back. Oh, Mystique. Mystique. Yeah, I. I think Jennifer Lawrence is the most overrated actress of all time, and I reckon oh, she would be such an awful person in real life. Oh, you think she'd be awful? Yeah. Because Why? her whole thing is that she's normal. And anyone that claims to be normal in, in like, that's a triple A actress, I'm like, you're a liar. But what about Zoe De Chanel? Famous unnormal. Oh my God. Actress. Well, I've she's never... clearly not normal. She's got bangs. Fucking. Yeah, and uh, she's got glasses. Fucking, like, the most insufferable human being where, like. But would you fuck but her? But Emma Stone. No. Emma Stone. I was Emma, Emma Stone would be lit. Emma See, Stone what's the difference fuck? between Emma Stone and those ones? Uh, Gwen Stacy? Would you think they're trying? Yeah, Jennifer Lawrence is full of shit. I've seen her go off at a reporter that could barely speak English and it really pissed me off. And I read that Zoe Deschanel was really awful to work with on New Girl. Like really, really? Awful. her sister would supposedly be is the opposite. Who's what, her sister? What are you talking about? From Bones. Zoe That's Deschanel. Oh yeah. Yeah, Zoe Deschanel. Um, no, no, the other one. Hunter yeah. S. Thompson, yeah. Yeah. Hunter S. Thompson famously was great in um as as Gwen Stacy. His yeah. rendition mm. of Gwen Stacy was yeah. great. Because he's Emma Stone's um, I was sad sister. when that happened in that movie. What's that? When she died. That made me sad. What? Yeah. You got sad? Yeah. Hmm. Mate, it's not real. Well, it is. Well, no, Spider-Man No, not because real. they did the sequel Spider-Man movies with Tom Holland and mm. he comes back and his girlfriend's dead. What? No. Yeah. Tom Holland's girlfriend. Um, no. Zendaya. Zendaya. When Andrew Garfield comes back, his girlfriend's still dead. Yeah, but like, oh, well, can't they explain that? Yeah, can't they just like fucking marvel it? Where they just go, just kidding, pretending it's they're back real. again? No, dude, it's real. Really? Yeah. Are they documentaries? Yeah. Why yeah. Are they, is that why they've gotten so shit? Why do you think? What? What? They're all legit. The documentaries are fucking terrible. Why do you think Khan died when he went to jail? Like that's why you don't uh, see him anymore. I, I love that part in Ant Man: Quantumania where um, Khan exactly. bashes his wife near to death and threatens to kill and her, and the Fantastic Four arrest him. <laughs> Yeah. And now he's in jail. <laughs> yeah. Life. I really like that. That was really fun. Or the part where um I really like that part in the new Thor movie where they find the Cancer. people writing the film and Bob Iger comes out with Thor's hammer and just beats the fuck out of them and tells them to get a new job or suck it up. Mm. Remember that bit? Yeah. Remember when you were in Thor? Mm. See, it is real. It is real. 
My favorite part. She played Thor. I did. Yeah, you were fucking. You actually were Kate Blanchett's body double, weren't you? Yeah. That's hilarious because Kate Blanchett's so pretty. <laughs> um, a body double, not face double. My, yeah, no. My, so it was the back of you. The back of me, the side of me. They actually leg. made Is that her, pretty cool. Like, they who, painted her face fun. green. Who did you so they could in, replace like, it? Did you get to perform to people? Um, what do you mean? Like, would you say lines to like someone? No, I, I like I also did stand in, so like they would. Yeah. yeah, but then but we shot so much that they just didn't make the cut. But I think that's enough to Normal. throw people yeah. off. Hmm. Oh really? Maybe so they wouldn't leak stuff. But there's a lot of paparazzi photos of um, Hella that are actually me. Really? Mm -hmm. oh, that's, that's fucking hilarious. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Who was the nicest celeb on the set? Oh, Tiger's a legend. Tiger is nice. He's actually cool. Did he's, you chat he's to like, him quite a bit? He's crazy, but he's great. Yeah. You know, like totally. a fun crazy. Yeah. It's because he's Kiwi. Like he'd make everybody like get up and do dancing and exercise, oh, like like nah, and play this music. Like before Kate came on, he's like playing God Save the Queen, and then she's sitting on the throne, and and Kate's cool as hell too. She was cool. Oh my god. She seems cool. She's very really into grounded. Aussie culture, which is cool. Like yeah. she's like very. What else has she been in? Lord everything. Of shit, dude. Everything. Oh, she's Galadriel. Uh, Galadriel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, she seems really lovely. Everything I've she's ever seen. She's so cool. She's cool. actually like really cool. Um, did she you kiss her on the lips? Uh, yeah, but not the lips you're thinking of. Her I was thinking lips. vaginal lips. Her face. I kissed her on the face. Oh. Yeah, because we were all thinking vaginal, vaginal lips. lips. You were. Yeah. I know. Yeah, wild. Um, yeah, open mouth. I still need to see Dune two. Yeah, I've don't even bother seeing the first one again. Don't Just bother watch watching Dune 2. it. Why? Just watch Lord of the Rings again. What's the deal okay. with it? Why is Dune's everyone so talking good. about it? So it gave white guys um. Uh, a savior complex a again. Savior complex. Well, why, why shouldn't um, I see? We're, we're back in it because it's fucking shit. You said the first Dune was so good after you watched the second Dune. No, I was saying that I love Dune one because I love Dune two, but I don't yeah. like Dune one. It's good. But I need. To, I feel like I need to watch <laughs> it still. It's good. It's you smelly. should watch it. It's smelly. smelly. Yeah. Maybe I'll watch it this week. Go for it. You say you that, like and you're it? definitely not going to. Maybe I'm going to go home, sit in your underwear on your fucking computer, fall asleep at your table like this. <gasps> when I used to live with Elias, I would walk into his room to like say goodnight or like see what he's up to. And often he would be at his computer like this. And I'd go, hey man, he'd go, what's up? And I'd be like, you sleep? He goes, no. Nah. And he goes straight back to his fucking Final when, Fantasy. When you lived yeah. with Connor, were you ever scared he'd walk in on you? What? Clack in your no. meat? No. Not at all. Why? Because you just cause do cause it you the door open. Right <laughs> uh, yeah, I was not scared. I was waiting. Yeah. You know, I, can I tell you a real thing that actually happened in my life and no one believes me? Is I went to pee in a toilet and there was a fish swimming in there. Like That's a goldfish? Which toilet? Why uh, would you make shit up? When I was the aquarium? in Brisbane, I lived in, when I was 10, I li it happened to me twice. One time. Was I, it in an apartment? No. I was peeing and I literally looked down and there was a fish swimming in the bowl, like swimming. How big's the fish? Like a gut, like a molly, like this big, and it's it had like it had like poo stuck to it, like flaky poo, and it was swimming. I went, oh, and I went to get someone, and as I got it, it just swam back up. I'm not lying. Swam back up where? Swam back up where? The, the it's like back through the toilet, the other way. So it was it'd like, be so hard because there's no water in those pipes. Dude, that fish saw your cock. Say well, what you want. It was riding the wave. It was riding the wave, dude. Well, how to get up? I don't it, it know. It doesn't work that way. It, it actually, just, like, it, it did happen. I swear on my life, it happened. Was it white? No, it he was like a ready, he it was like a ready, it was a ready fish. Young. Did you have? It wasn't a tapeworm. Did it you was have a fish ready fish when you were a kid. I was convinced maybe it was a fish in our house, but it wasn't because we didn't have those fish. My fish were never covered in shit. Just Did you ever <laughs> open the top up <laughs> of the thing? Yeah, because yeah. there could have been like four the fish in the there. Sister. There were no fish the in sister. there. Sister. Did you ever open Dan. it and have a look? Yeah, sister. we had a little rubber duck the thing sister. in there. I don't know. Maybe there was like the duck thing was for like smells. I don't know what the fucking point was that was. Because you clean them, don't you? You can clean a toilet through the system. Yeah, yeah people put stuff. I wouldn't rely that's the, on that's it. that's the water that he uses to wash the bowl. Yeah. Elias told me that's the water he uses to wash his ass. Yeah, that's yeah, what it's fine. for. You it's sit up there. That's where the, the sink goes water. down. I, just, I lift my legs up and sink further in and then flush so it just gets it all you know out. When that's the poor man's bidet. <laughs> yeah. You know when, when women go, you didn't put the seat down. It's actually because they put it down, wash their ass. What? I reckon women yeah. see that the seat's up and go, I'm going to teach him a lesson and then get stuck. Like on, on their purpose. own, because like, like honestly, <laughs> classic women. So like, oh, I good. get mad if I piss on the seat a little bit because I'm not looking properly. But a fucking girl can fall into a toilet and it's my fault. 
Exactly. I fucking hate this alarm. It's yeah, like... Yeah, it makes me anxious. Oh, my God. <gasps> well, oh. everyone, this is one of the more lax, chatty episodes of the Cracker Milk podcast. Uh, we're trying to get one done as quick as we can. And remember, you can see the full un unextended and uncut yeah. and borderline offensive version of this on our Patreon if you want. Thank you so much for listening. And if you are watching this on the Patreon, thanks for subbing and, and watching the full-length video. It's cool of you. Oh, what no. a fucking Why sucker. Is Brown fucking nose hell. prick. Oh, yeah, you're God. an absolute piece of shit. They don't need to hear that We look like dicks. They don't need to hear that shit. They're us. They're supporting us. No, you us. just make us all, you just high roaded us. You make us all like assholes. And you came in I all like, making you guys oh, look sweet. assholes. Oh, yeah. fucking oh, rose. You, you were name dropping them like an hour ago saying how shit they were. Oh, hey, oh, we're ending the podcast. Hey, everyone, I just want to say that specifically me, Elias, loves all of you. Me, only me, loves you. Thank you so much. I hope I get some fan mail. Us. You disgust Not supporting me. us. Your ass. Yeah. We know so what you're selfish about. Selfish alliance. Selfish, selfish boy. Selfish boy. Disgusting. Hey guys, I'm opening up a new Patreon for oh. uh, myself only. So if you guys want to <laughs> jump on over there to help support me because these what guys would you hate post? me. What would you post? <sighs> Cracking milk videos. <laughs> 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 ripped, really badly ripped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, All right. Probably ass pics. Oh, well, now we're oh, fucked. Well, now, we're, now, now I've got to sign income. up. Whoa. What?